I hadn't, oops, oh, I see. I hadn't turned up the temperature. Oh, it's all falling apart. <laughs> I hadn't turned up the temperature. Um, and that's, that was my problem. Adjust the temperature of your print nozzle according to the media that you're putting in your 3D printer. I've been doing quite a bit of 3D printing, as you can well imagine. Bong! Um, I've, uh, I've been struggling uh, with with the white filament. Um, oop, poke his eyes out. It was uh, it was from China. It was from Creality, and um, I thought to myself, well, there's definitely a problem with this stuff. I'll show you for why. Uh, this is something that I've been commissioned to make for my friend's kid, and um, as you can hear, yeah, it, it's literally just just falling apart, falling apart at the seams. Which is, which is terrible. If you look at the sides here, you can see that it's just missing great chunks and layers are coming out. And Oh, it was such a mess and such a shame. Um, so anyway, uh, what was happening, or what I thought was happening was the, the feed system was uh, stuttering and I didn't think the feed system was gripping the filament uh, strongly enough and pushing it through the feed system into the print, into the print nozzle. But actually what it was, um, the print nozzle was a little bit too cool for this filament um, and so when I when I then took the filament the printer nozzle excuse me when I took that um, uh, that temperature and I increased the temperature of the print head to two from 220 to 215 degrees all of a sudden bang I ended up with stuff that just rocked and rolled I mean, really, really good stuff. So I'm sort of happy that I found out ooh, what the problem is. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good learning experience. I was actually about to slate the, uh, these guys because I was getting fantastic prints, as you can see, uh, at, at 200 degrees. I was getting beautiful prints um, with, with black, and with red, I mean, these are just little, little G clamps. I mean, you know, probably not very useful on a welding table, but really, really sort of useful, um, you know, for just gluing stuff together and whatnot. Um, but I, I really didn't think that the, the white filament that was 10 quid from Creality, I didn't think that the white filament that was 10 quid from Creality would be anywhere as good as uh, the stuff that I got for 20 quid from somewhere else and uh, I think I spent 15 pounds on the red uh, so funnily enough all I had to do was just adjust my parameters so <laughs> obviously made many 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 different things here's a wicked looking little Star Trek phaser um, you know this is the old next generation Star Trek phaser Pew, pew. Yeah, this is quite cool. Um, and then, oh, these are really quite interesting. These are like um, little sort of Chinese finger trap boxes. They're <laughs> Chinese puzzle boxes. Um, you've got to try and figure out how to how to open it, and you've got to get it. Whoops! You've got to get it in just the just the right sort of uh, way. You can you can close it up. You could. You could put a 10 quid note in here and give it to your kid as a it's all available on thingiverse obviously but you could put a 10 quid note in here and give it to give it to your, your little one as a as a as a christmas gift or a birthday gift or, you know a stocking filler sort of job um but yeah so i printed one of those in in in, in black and i've printed one in red as well um the the again the deal was if i can just find a way to open this little bugger God, it's a maze. It's amazing, but it basically, yeah, it's exactly that. It's it's a maze, uh, and you've got to get just the right. This is going to take me a while, obviously, isn't it? Oh, crying out loud. So, well, I tried printing one in the white stuff before I figured out what the problem was, and again, this just literally just pulled apart like that. Unbelievable. I was so disappointed. I thought, well, that's ten quid down the drain. That is ten quid down the drain it's rubbish i'm not buying that filament again and then i increased the temperature and i printed this solid absolutely solid yeah just bonkers and then i followed up with a print of these okay well done creality it wasn't your fault it was my fault 
so uh, I'm quite happy I'm quite happy that I didn't slate these guys for my mistake and ultimately all it was was a case of increasing the temperature of the nozzle now this thing that I was showing you just now which looks quite messy I've been commissioned by a friend to make this and what we've got to do is stuff a bunch of I don't know if you can see that now stuff a bunch of LEDs in here and effectively it's going to become a little door nameplate little princess's crown door nameplate and I've got some flashing red uh, LEDs for this so if I can just balance two of these batteries one on top of the other and then hold that on there like that and stick this little bit of cable on there like that boom and here we go you can see that can't you that's nice yeah it's not exactly flashing like I thought it was going to be it's more candle-esque but um yeah that's sort of cool anyway uh, and here's another failure drastic failure so I made um a little holder out of the out of the good what i thought was the good red filament which actually is good oops oh, bollocks oops. <laughs> swore um yeah and um yeah and this was this was for the switch the, the idea was i was basically putting together uh, a little device that you could use to a docking port for your switch um you know a second one for upstairs uh, which i'm again i'm probably going to make a little video on that in a bit because uh, i've made one now and it's solid and it works a treat and you can stuff your switch in it and actually i'm also going to build a monster battery system for the switch so you never run out of juice when you're playing your games and you're away camping let's say not that i tend to play games when i'm away camping um lots of things that people really want to see this is all quite random at the moment isn't it but uh, just drop that bit then lots of things that people really want to see are benchy boats um so these are quite useful to show you uh the performance of the printer and uh, what you can see from here, and this is actually a, um, a Benchy battle boat. Uh, and you can see here that these turrets have been, these, guns, these gun turrets here have been printed themselves. Um, the actual quality of the print is pretty good. Uh, the overhangs and everything all worked out fine. Uh, there, was no, um, there was no supports printed on this at all. Uh, and, and again, similar sort of situation with this guy. Um, this was the white print. Uh, but again, I hadn't... Oops, oh, I see. I hadn't turned up the temperature. Oh, it's all falling apart. <laughs> I hadn't turned up the temperature. Um, and that's that was my problem. Turn up the temperature of your print nozzle um, for... Well, adjust... The, I can't break this one. Adjust... The temperature of your print nozzle according to the media that you're putting in your 3d printer there we go end of lesson lesson learned thank you very much howard goodbye <laughs>